What proven concepts should you use if you want to become a more dynamic and impactful presenter? The answer to that question will be found in this daily dose of public speaking wisdom. One of the biggest misconceptions about great public speakers, salespeople, and presenters is that they are natural born and they can just wing it. Nothing could be further from the truth. I have yet to meet a world-class Hall of Fame speaker, leader, or sales professional who did not study and drill, rehearse, and practice. The heart of all of that success was a process. There is not one best or only way to be a great presenter, speaker, or sales professional. There's not. There are many. If you want to be a meaningful and memorable presenter, top of the line, best, it's imperative that you discover a process that works for you, your style, your personality, and then drill, rehearse, and practice until that formula becomes second nature to you. Once you've done that, something magical happens. You're freed up to be your authentic self every time you present. One of the biggest complaints I hear about speech coaching or presentation skills coaching or story processes is that I don't like to be put in a box, Michael. I don't want to be limited by a formula. People have the misconception that this will not allow them to be themselves, that they're better off winging it. One of the best presenters in the professional speaking world is a woman named Patricia Fripp. You've probably heard me mention her name before. She taught me this line, process doesn't freeze you, it frees you. Process doesn't freeze you, it frees you. As a quick example, I have a formula for storytelling called the seven C's to sensational storytelling. These are seven key elements. When I internalized those seven keys, I found that my natural style began to come through because I didn't have to think about the process. What was the order or structure of my story? Your tip for today is counterintuitive, but it works. If you're willing to learn a process, practice, drill, and rehearse it until it's second nature, you will be freed up to be more in the moment with your audience, to react more spontaneously and quickly to the unexpected. Find your process, internalize it, and watch how your speeches become much more dynamic and your audiences react to you in a much bigger and better way. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.